All right, guys, how you doing? So I'm a big chip guy. I'm out here in front of my house on the porch, and I'm a big chip guy. So whenever I go to the store, I don't look for sweets. I don't look for candy. I'm not a big candy guy. I'm not a big sweets guy. I'm a big sh salt guy. Not sugar. I'm salty. I'm a, I'm a bit of a salt guy. I love salt. I love chips. I love things like that. So I went to the store today. It was a CVS, weirdly. And I need a change for the bus. So, I was like, well, pick me up big chips. And when I usually go to the store, Bodega, the Poppy store, wherever you call your corner store or a regular store, I like to get a bag of chips. So, my bag of chips are either a little bit kinky, a little experimental. It depends on how I'm feeling. Today, I felt experimental. I felt kinky. Let's get kinky with the chips. So, today... Salt flavor chips that I know for dang sure I never tried before in my life. This is what they look like. The Hers Chickens and Pete's famous crab fries, seasoned potato chips with white creamy cheese sauce flavoring. Now the thing is, I never had these chips. Well, I never had the fries before from Chickens and Pete's. That's like a South Philly thing, South Philly Stadium kind of thing. I mean. I mean, I'm the kind of guy that gets the cheesesteak from the poppy store. You know what I mean? I tell poppy, give me the cheesesteak platter. So the fact that this is coming from hers and there's a chicky piece flavor, I have no idea what I'm in store for. I mean, the bag looks very tentalizing. It looks very good. As you can see, it's dang near 150. Where have we gone with chips this size being 150? Inflation sucks. But, you know, you got the little nice little things like there. It's gluten-free, 140 calories. Uh, 2 grams of saturated fat, 320 milligrams of sodium, no sugar, and 350 milligrams of potassium. So, sounds like some good stuff. Let's return to the back. So, if you can read along with me, I know y'all can read, but just in case you can't, and that's okay if you can't, you know, reading is fundamental. Make sure you get that hook on phonics. Drum popping. Uh, it says, now that's what we call a win win. Hers legendary ripple cut potato chip has joined forces with chickens and peats. World famous crab fries, and and the result is a snack that in the class by itself. The delicious hers rip, ripple chips have been generously seasoned with the winning taste of chickens and peas crab fries, and creamy cheese flavor sauce that makes chickens and peas a, a Philadelphia fan favorite. Now I love cheese. I am a cheese fanatic. If you remember the Tyler Chris song at the beginning of his song, of his show Loiter Squad, I am a big cheese fan. And there's going to be reviews with things with cheese in it and on it. I plan on doing that because I love cheese. I love cheese. I love cheese. I love, say it with me, cheese. So, we're going to get to opening this bag up, and I'm going to tell you how I feel about the chips. All right. Boom. Let's try to angle this correctly. It's not going to be angled correctly. That's okay. Takes two hands to open up a bag of chips. Hold up, guys. There we go. No. Alright. No. You guys are bouncing all over the place. I'm sorry. No. Guys. You bouncing all over the place. I blame it on you guys. There's no way I can be holding this properly. So, let me just do it like this. Use my resources around me. Bam. Finally opened it without you guys following. Alright. Let's look inside. Inflation give us airbags, guys. That's all we gotta know. Inflation doesn't do us right. Doesn't do us no justice. All right, so let's dig our hand in here and see what it's like. Hmm. Let's give it another one. Hmm. Hmm. So, right now, as I'm eating this chip, of course it tastes like, you know, it has that same feel that hers ripple chips have, which is a great feel. 
Um, my car chips to get stuck in your teeth. <laughs> uh, but I gotta say, um, the seasoning tastes almost like, like almost like a faint Old Bay or like a really faint seasoning salt kind of taste. So it's not really a taste that you recognize too much. You might be dis you will be fairly disappointed because uh, the white creamy cheese sauce. I don't, I don't get, I don't got a flavor from it, and I'm disappointed because like I love cheese and I really wanted to try this flavor. It makes me kind of wonder what the hell the fries are like. Yeah, no. So, maybe next time I go to a Phillies game or Eagles game, if I ever go to a Eagles game, I've never been to an Eagles game, or to a Sixers game if they're playing my favorite team, Miami Heat, then I'll definitely go, or even a Flyers game, yeah, I'd definitely go to a Flyboys game, and definitely see what the fries taste like if they offer the Chickens and Pete's fries down there. I also want to taste the tenders, and I really want to taste the creamy white sauce because, to me, that's the mystery. The cheesy creamy white sauce and i just definitely want to try it out you know take it on a test drive see what it's like because uh this these chips don't do it i'm going to eat the chips still best believe i'm not wasting a dollar fifty worth of chips okay but the, the, the chip doesn't do uh what the fries would be justice so i'm hoping that the fries are better i'm definitely going to do a review for you guys when the when, the, when i taste the fries so please look forward to more videos from this youtube channel more things about food beer wine spirits my everyday life kind of stuff because i do skateboard so i might be doing some skate stuff review so just stay tuned be on the lookout have fun go out there be a glutton but then go work out because we don't need you being big and then trying food and then they be like oh i'm gonna play marco man food savage oh yeah dig it because he told me to go out and eat so go out eat be but be active be and have fun with your friends and people all right, peace out, guys.